Hello friends, welcome back to the bench. A couple of weeks ago, we had this pile mixer on the bench and there was actually nothing wrong with it. I was just using improper uh, power. It was supposed to be AC and I was using DC, that's why it, there was no amplification. So very silly problem. But the only thing actually wrong with it was broken antenna. And there is an internal antenna on it um, or printed antenna on the PCB, uh, which technically does work, but that means that I cannot put it in the, in the actual casing uh, because it's metal. It's just gonna lose most of its um, range. Maybe if the device is right next to it, but... And using this antenna and the device like this uh, with antenna exposed, I'm still getting uh, poor performance, uh, even though this device is right next to the device that is actually sending the sound. So, um, since there is no pigtail uh, that I can just connect here, I can just buy a new antenna and just plug it in. It's soldered on and it's only soldered with one wire. So the other wire is not connected um, or the ground is not connected. Uh, so I figured if that be the case, Let's try and just making our own antenna from copper wire and see if that works. If it does, I'm going to use the same cable and, and just build my own external Bluetooth antenna. I've never done it before. I have no idea if it's going to work. <laughs> Let's try. Alrighty, so this is our antenna. As you can see, it still has the solder on it. And the cable that it came with, all right, this is the other end of it. So only one wire is actually soldered on to the part of the antenna and, and it goes to the actual antenna, the whip. So we're going to make a whip. Say whip, whip. Now say cool whip, cool whip, cool whip, cool whip. And let's see what it looks like, actually. Yeah, so that's how it was soldered on. Like this. So instead of this, or actually instead, um, I'm going to use the same cable. It is kind of damaged. I can maybe shorten it because the antenna needs to go outside of the device. If I just solder the antenna here, um, then I'm facing the same problem. Although I heard that and the performance of the whip is better than the printed one. So this is what we have. These are sizes, um, I think in mils. Yeah, in mils. So, um, so as you can see, we have two, um, like two wires, the actual antenna and well, let's call it ground. Um, now what we want to do is build uh, this, right? If from what I read, uh, the actual geometry of the antenna, the, the shape of it is um, has a huge impact on performance. Uh, not unlike an other antennas, obviously, but um, in this case, because uh, we're talking 2.4 gigahertz. So these are microwaves, basically, 2.4 gig. And we want the antenna to be quarter wavelength, which is 31 and a quarter millimeter. And let's see, so around 31, 25, 31, around this much. This is 27. So this will be the length of our antenna. The 
size of the wire is two millimeters. It might be a bit too heavy, but we'll see. Uh, I'll test other wires probably as well. All right, let's get to it. Alrighty, the phone is on the other side of the room and looks like I'm getting nice signal. So it actually does work. And it's just a piece of wire. <laughs> I didn't think that would work. Actually, I kind of, you know, suspected it might because. I used to do antennas for CB myself um, back in the day, uh, which was easy because you just get two wires half of wavelength, uh, what was around three meters, I think, because it's a six meter band. Well, whatever. It was it was long. It was a big antenna. This one is quarter wavelength, and I'm actually surprised because the phone is far away and we have the metal cover so this antenna doesn't work anymore that's why i keep it like this because it's still missing uh, this metal element there uh, so if i keep it like that it shouldn't affect it but it's working perfectly i am surprised a little bit <laughs> Alrighty, uh, i'll put it together start testing it and We'll see um, if it overall performance is better. But I heard that these antennas actually perform better, so I can't wait to, to actually test it. All right. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one.